meat rights are mainly found and in fact searched for in hot and cold deserts. The reason is that the meat rights weather away quite slowly in these desert environments. Further, the black meat rights can be more easily spotted on brighter plains as these are present in these kind of deserts. And also, these are often very large plains that can be easily searched by foot or by car, at least once you get to these areas. Now, cold desert means Antarctica. And Antarctica is characterized by large ice fields covered maybe by some snow. Then meteorites can fall on these large ice sheets and the fall statistics in Antarctica is the same as everywhere else. So meteorites fall across a very large area. When the meteorites fall on the snow they can start melting through the snow because they are more dense and slowly migrate through the snow and into the ice sheet here. There might be somewhere, somewhere there. Now the ice sheets on, in Antarctica are constantly moving and occasionally they might hit some mountain barrier like this here. So the ice movement is in this direction hitting a mountain barrier and then the ice is pushed up at this mountain barrier. And the ice that is pushed up here is then slowly ablating. And all the material that is within this ice is then exposed. So the meteorites that is within the ice is transported with this ice movement to this ablation zone and then exposed again to the surface. Now the neat part of this effect is that meteorites from a very large area that um, get encapsulated in the ice here can all move to this smaller area that is this ablation zone which means that here exists a high density zone of area of meteorites is produced. And um, so this is where meteorites in Antarctica are often searched for and this is a very neat effect for um, that, that very much helps the search for meteorites in Antarctica.